Welcome back to Rhythm Guitar Book One. This is a free course designed to help get you started with simple chords, strumming, rhythm charts, and lead sheets. You can download this book for free from my website, and I'll leave a link for that in the description. We're on page 24 with the last two lead sheets in this book. At the top of page 24, we have number R27. This is Marianne. This is in 4-4 four, four time, so we're going to be strumming four beats per measure. And we only have G and D7 chords. So this is a good time to practice that guide finger. G chord. Take your third finger. Move it over one fret to the second fret. Put your other two fingers down for the D7. And then slide it back when it's time to go from D7 to G. One, two, one, two, three, four. All day, all night, Mary Ann. Two, three, four, down by the seashore, sifting sand. Two, three, four, all the little children of Mary Ann. Two, three, down by the seashore, sifting sand, and then hold at the end. One, two, one, two, three, four. All day. the seashore, sifting sand. One, two, three, four. All the little children of Mary Ann. One, two, three, four. Down by the seashore, sifting sand. And hold that last measure. The last lead sheet in this book is at the bottom of page 24, it's number R28, this blues in G. We're in 4-4 four, four time, four strums per measure, although we are going to strum just one time on that last measure. Starts off with a G7, two, three, four, move to a C chord, so you just have to move your finger just a little bit, and then right back to a G7 chord. And even though the melody has some rests in there, your job is to keep strumming four strums per measure until the end. Beginning of the last line, we have a D7. Two, three, four. That moves to a C chord. Remember, D7 and C have that first finger in common. So keep your first finger down, lift your other two up, and you have a C chord. And then this G7, we're gonna strum this measure. Two, three, four and then just hold in that last measure. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four.
Your assignment is to practice those lead sheets on page 24. As always, work on keeping a steady beat by playing along with the video or play to a metronome so you can pick your own tempo. Practice this chart until you can play these songs accurately and with good rhythm. And then when you're ready, I'll see you on page 25 for the last lesson in this book. We're going to be talking about eighth notes, downstrums, and upstrums. Mm -hmm.